Hello, Dr. Jeff Craig here, giving you an update on the happenings of School District 129. It's safe to say that COVID-19 has affected each and every district process and event over the course of the past two months. Therefore, the purpose of this video segment is to update you about some of those changes. First up, district construction updates. In an effort to take advantage of the fact that our buildings are empty, we have been able to move up several construction projects that were originally slated for the summertime. For example, we now have new carpet in the Library Media Center at Hall Elementary School. We have new playgrounds at Goodwin and Smith Elementary and new windows at Freeman Elementary School. Hall and Schneider Elementary Schools, as well as Jewell and Herget Middle Schools, have newly paved parking lots and West Aurora High School has a new concrete work and landscaping around the, the auditorium. We have new flooring at Nicholson, and we replaced the walkway and poured a new base for a compactor at Washington. Stadium renovations have also begun at West Aurora High School, with the old bleacher seats having been removed and new bathroom floors installed. Hope Wall has a new roof and a boiler system, and we're working on tuck pointing at the West Aurora Learning Center. Next, we have started some new district-wide initiatives as a result of COVID-19. The first of these was establishing seven food distribution centers to feed the children and families in our district. Meals are offered Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I'm very proud to say that we just surpassed 285,000 meals served since school closings began. Another district initiative came through establishing a student support text helpline. Students can now text us to let us know if they're, a, if they're missing the help that they frequently get from their school social worker, counselor, nurse, or other emotional support people, those in need of shelter or food, or they're worried about a friend or need support for themselves. Our third district-wide initiative was to find ways to celebrate our retirees despite the restrictions that come with COVID-19. As a result, we chose to honor them individually on social media by dedicating a day in their honor. Then we shared a virtual ceremony just this week. And finally, we have plans to visit their homes with yard signs and gifts. And now on to our 18 buildings and their headlines. Our elementary schools have been busy driving remote learning and finding new ways to connect with their students. Several elementary schools have hosted parades, promoting positivity and a sense of community. Some have even decorated their school campuses with colorful signs intended to share messages of hope and happiness. While almost all of our buildings have become more active on social media, sharing uplifting messages and videos created by their staff. Fifth grade promotion will also look a little bit different this year with celebratory yard signs being provided for each fifth grade student and a special promotion video shared at the end of the school year in lieu of an in-person celebration. Moving on to our middle schools, they're getting ready to push out fifth and sixth grade step up presentations in an effort to welcome their incoming class and to familiarize them with their new buildings and processes. Additionally, our middle schools are busy creating a virtual promotion video to highlight the efforts of our eighth graders as they get ready to transition to high school. In addition to that acknowledgement, each middle school will also be hosting an eighth grade promotion car parade Please see each building's individual website for those dates and times. And finally, West Aurora High School. West has joined the hashtag Be the Light and the hashtag Lights for the Fight by turning on the stadium lights at Ken Zimmerman Field each Friday from 8 to 8.20 p.m. during the school closures. This tribute honors our healthcare workers, first responders, and essential workers. We also want our spring sport athletes to know that we stand with them during this difficult time. Honoring our resilient class of 2020 is also a priority at West Aurora High School. This is why we will be hand delivering caps and gowns to the doorsteps of the entire senior class. Come Friday, May 22nd, there will be 10 graduation express buses departing West High to visit the doorsteps of over 950 seniors who make up the class of 2020. Additionally, one of the biggest requests we heard from our senior class was wanting the chance to get to say goodbye to the faculty at West Aurora High School. Therefore, in conjunction with the Aurora Police Department, we have organized a senior farewell drive-by parade on Friday, May 29th from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. 
The class of 2020 will get the chance to drive past and wave to the staff of West High, who will be parked throughout our campus. And finally, just this week, we received word that the Regional Office of Education has recommended that school districts not conduct any type of in-person graduation ceremony. This decision was based on the current levels of COVID-19 in Kane County. For that reason, our commencement has shifted from an August 3rd in-person event to a virtual celebration. The virtual celebration is organized by Herf Jones and that release date has yet to be determined. Although we are extremely disappointed that we are unable to have an in-person graduation, we understand that their decision was rooted in science. In closing, we are very proud of our students, staff, and community members as they have demonstrated extreme persistence, patience, creativity, and compassion throughout the current situation. We are still here for you. We will continue to be here for you. We are all working hard to make the best of the end of this school year for you as we celebrate all of your efforts. I would encourage you to look for a lot of information in the coming days. I am extremely proud of our District 129 community and all that we have accomplished. We are now turning our efforts to the plans for this summer and next fall to make the best possible educational environment for all of our West Aurora family.